a little bit of introduction about who you are. Who I am. Your egos and what you do. Okay. Well, I guess I should say during the day, I'm Nikki D'Agostino. Um, you know, born here in Perth, very happy-go-lucky person who likes to keep fit and healthy. By night, I go by Little Miss Squeezebox. Uh, a little bit more to say about that one, but in, in a nutshell, um, in a box, I play an accordion. So I started out teaching in high school. This is back going back to almost 20 years ago. And um, I was teaching full-time classroom music and part-time classroom drama. And um, music was only on the side, but it wasn't really on the side for me because I would still do about four gigs a week. So to me, that was a lot yeah, there yeah. as well. That would Plus, be for a lot of people. That would be absolutely. Yeah. I didn't have any days off. I'd, that's all I did. But it, the demand was crazy. And it's funny because I started out as a busker. I, I just I thought on the weekends I'm just going to go play my piano accordion and people would come up and say, oh, my goodness, can we have your business card? We want to book this for our wedding. I didn't have any business cards. I didn't think of it as a business. I just thought it's a release after a week with kids in a classroom yeah, to go yeah. and play music, especially piano accordion. And I didn't even plan for that to happen. Slowly, my four gigs a week were becoming seven on top of the teaching and the piano teaching. When I say full time, like you are full time, like you play, you know, a couple of gigs per day. Yes. Uh, sometimes. Uh, but. You're right. Uh, f averaging 14 a week, which is quite a lot. Apparently, at one point, I've held the Guinness Book of Records for the amount of gigs uh, a musician, one musician standalone can play in one year. Um, and oh, I, really? I, I did my count for the year and it was at something like 456 or something ridiculous. And they were like, you've won it hands down. Like no one even got to the 300, something like well, that. Well, that's, that, that's was, almost one and a half per day. Yeah. One, <laughs> you're right. Well, your maths is really fast. I've got to remember how many days there are in a year because in my year, there's about 600 days in a year. I went away. I went away for about eight months to London and, and Canada and I went and lived overseas just because I was so tired. I actually didn't even work. I just went over there to have fun. But I, I, and, was, I was about to say, like, how, how, how could you fit all that into a normal week? Like with was, the I wasn't sleeping. And I think this is where my insomnia stemmed from as well. I wasn't sleeping. I was just working, working all day, working all night. Right there and then I said, I will leave teaching for now. I know I have my, my certificate. I have my papers, whatever. That can yep. come later. Right now I have the youth and I have something that's a little bit different and I want to go home and really push that. And I was so inspired by London and, and this tour that I went on. And I came home and formed all these different type of bands and knew about. Yeah, yeah. But now if you go onto all those websites with, with musicians in, on agency websites and, 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 and all over the place and onto Facebook, there's a, a bunch of everything and there's so much competition now. So it's a little bit harder to get gigs all the time. Look, I'm still busy and mm. it's fantastic. And maybe the draw card is that I play the piano accordion. I wonder if I played a guitar, say, if I'd be as busy. It's hard to say, but I was about to like, like uh, I was, my, my next question was going to be like, what do you reckon makes you stand out? And I think that is what makes you stand out, the fact that you do play an accordion. Yes. Um, and also, like, you're obviously quite tall as well. Like, you are. So you, I do stand you, out. Yeah, and I like, don't literally. dress like the average person. Like, look at me in my, my clothes today. I'm dressed in a. Uh, Lion King outfit. Yeah, and, and your glitter. Like you always <laughs> yeah, wear wearing, some, some, some sort of glitter. I've got to stand out somewhere. Like I, Because I did start before there was a big skyrocket, people yeah. just remember and trust me because I've been around. So my name has with uh, you know upstood in the industry. So I'm lucky that I did start from there and I kept it going. You have to work really hard, though. You really do. You have to know that you're going to do this. And when you really want something, you can make it happen. Absolutely. And you work for it. And like I said, I'd stay up every night till 3 a.m., even if I had to be up at 7, sending emails, just emailing everyone out there, letting them know what I had, editing little videos on my iMovie Mac for that. You know, it's got its pros and it's got its cons, um, but we do have social media to thank for our businesses because I must admit it did. If there was a graph that we could show, I know I was working a lot back in 08, but, but people weren't something. really – catching on to no, use it for no, business yet fine. and that's it was fine. just for, for fun yep. and um i think i do have facebook to thank for where i have where i am now with my work yeah good and i always say it but, I, but people but, have a job just doing that i'm doing that on top but that's also what makes you relevant and what makes people remember you because they're constantly seeing your name it's in the lot, algorithm you know I mean? it like, is like, like, like every time i go onto instagram so like you always on the top of, of stories <laughs> because literally like there is constantly a story yeah you have to uh, from, from, from uh, yeah and and that's how you stay in the algorithm if people don't understand you the more you comment on something or the more you like something absolutely. and the more yeah. you post if people keep seeing that 
they'll remember you. And these agents, when they get a, a like a an email coming in from a client asking about a particular thing, the first thing they're going to do is whatever's in their brain. So you got to you have to be on top all the time. So it's mentality tactic with your marketing as well, and and your networking. You got to get out there and and talk. And Ten second this and things like TikTok and all that sort of stuff. People are watching that, and it's I'm trying to teach them that and the hashtagging and everything. So. Yeah, but some people don't want to change their mentality, and by all means, if if they're happy like that too, then mm. that's a, a good world too. But there's yeah, balance for everything. You got a website um, as well. I do littlemissqueezebox.com. Thanks so much, Nikki. Thank it was you, a, it was Steph, a pleasure. having me, Loved and uh, have a great uh, summer season, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Seven Minute.